Good evening, Jeremy Fernandez with ABC News. New South Wales is officially in a state of emergency. Large bushfires burning in the Blue Mountains are forcing more people to leave their homes tonight. And with more extreme weather forecast for the next few days, the fire threat across the state is likely to get worse. The biggest front in the Blue Mountains is burning between Lithgow and Bilpin. And the blaze at Mount Victoria has now crossed the Darling Causeway and reached the Gros Valley. There are fears that fire could run down the valley into densely populated Richmond on Sydney's northern fringe. The fire burning near Lithgow is equivalent in size to an area spanning Palm Beach, Botany Bay and Sydney's inner west. If that fire jumps containment lines, it will spread southwards. That could mean burning through valleys including the Megalong, close to the major hub of Katoomba and Wentworth Falls on the southern side of the Great Western Highway. With worsening conditions today, the largest fire burning in New South Wales, the State Mine Fire, has once again built to a very dangerous dangerous level. Gordon Taylor reports. This fire is massive. It continues to test the resolve of firefighters. Already it's burnt more than 30,000 hectares. It's the active fire front of more than 30 kilometres along the southern edge that is most dangerous. Everything's being thrown at this blaze from the air and the ground. Well, we've got a bit of smoke coming up the mountain here, uh, coming across the Bells line here at the top of the mountain, but this smoke is basically coming from a backburn that was put in uh, last night. The southern edge is more than 30 kilometres long, with the fire active along its full length. Towns and villages along that edge are under threat. Northwesterly winds are pushing the fire down the escarpment, like here in front of the small hamlet of Hartley Vale. That places residents directly in front of the fire and at risk until the fire is finally extinguished. This afternoon, locals gathered for an emergency meeting so they know what to expect. But in saying that, no one's safe with Ember Attack, OK? Many of these residents have faced fires like this before. They're well prepared, but all know that at some stage, the fire may become unstoppable. Gordon Taylor, ABC News, Blue Mountains. Our reporters are at both sides of this huge fire front at the top of the Blue Mountains tonight. Gordon Taylor is on the western tip of the blaze at Dargan and Letitia Lemke is on the eastern front at Bilpin. Letitia, you've just been to a community meeting in Bilpin. How are people holding up there? Uh, people are certainly tired. It's been several days on fire watch and it's starting to show. It was certainly an emotional meeting. The warning is that uh, uh, people in the area of Bells Lion Road, and that's going all the way the west to Mount Toma, uh, down to uh, Mount Pittman, or Pittman Road in the east, uh, if they don't have a fire plan that they're confident with, if they're not confident they can survive a fire in their homes and they need to leave tonight. And authorities are saying don't base your judgment on the benign conditions we've seen over the last couple of days because they're going to change tomorrow and that could bring the fire right up to, uh, to Bilpin. Uh, certainly the people we've spoken to are saying they're going to sit it out. Well, the 40s, it was like very much the same as this one and uh, the wind was so powerful. I've been up here for 46 years and I've experienced fire since 68. Evacuated, get ready to evacuate once, but we've never, we've never actually left our place. Now, the RFS have done some amazing work putting in containment lines uh, to protect Bilpin. They've had excavators and bulldozers out from 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon working through the night, and those lines have to be consolidated. There's back burning as well. But if uh, the forecast uh, windy, hot, windy conditions come in tomorrow with that very low humidity, then those fires will come this way and will test those containment lines, threatening not just Bilpin but communities right along. Now, Gordon Taylor, have firefighters made the headway that they had hoped to today? Well, yes, to some extent. Uh, as, as the teacher was saying, the, the fire is right along the Bells line of road up to where I am here and off to Lin Lithgow. Now, uh, the fire has jumped the Bells line of road, which they were hoping originally to use as the, uh, as the, uh, the big fire break. It's down behind me in, those, in that rugged country right behind me here. It's a cliff that goes off behind me here. Um, it's in there. Uh, they've been water bombing it all day. They've put some big container li containment lines in with bulldozers further along. 
and uh, are letting that area between the containment lines and here burn. They don't care if that country burns as long as that ultimately means they've got a very strong containment line. The trouble is it's in those valleys, um, they've been water bombing them, but uh, as the commander here on the fire ground uh, candidly told me today, he said we can water bomb that as much as possible but ultimately it's going to jump each valley, keep jumping and the only thing that will stop it is a good week of rain. Gordon Taylor and Letitia Lemke in the Blue Mountains.